Can you do me a favor and try and not get your beard on the mic? It's probably that that's getting yeah, it. Right there, yeah. Okay. Yep. In 2010, I was working as a pharmacist in the graveyard position, working under fluorescent lights, wondering what the hell I was doing with my life. I was able to leave a job I never found much fulfillment from to be a quote unquote professional athlete when I was 36 years old. It all seems so bizarre and crazy, but now it all seems to make perfect sense. Like so many things in life. I have such a strong passion to train, to be outside, to push those limits. But I think what's interesting in this crazy world of running and ultra running is people see that tip of the iceberg. You know, they see me at a race, they see me crossing the finish line. And I mean, that's awesome, but that's icing on the cake for me. It's really the 99% below that tip of the iceberg that nobody sees. That's what means the most to me these days, and that's what I'm most passionate about. It's behind the scenes. When you explore your furthest depths, pushing yourself to such extremes, I think that helps me be a better person, be more understanding and calm and patient and better able to navigate a really challenging world that we live in these days. It's not all wine and roses. Being a professional athlete, I'm so damn fortunate to be where I am, but it could be a double-edged sword when so much of your identity and career and future rests on performing and training and being healthy and, and representing yourself and others well. Injuries are a tough field to navigate. After this knee injury, I wish I could say I was such a positive person and a role model for others, but I really went in the hole. I was in pretty desperate times. Thankfully, I'm on the other side and I see the light. I have this, this tiny little platform, this crazy niche of running called ultra and trail running. I don't have the answers, but I can speak openly and understand how other people are feeling and let them know there's hope that they can keep on keeping on. I want to continue to grow, and uh, maybe the best part of it is I hope the best is yet to come.